My car's moving right now. Who's who's pushing the car? What is up fam welcome to another adventure with your boy omar i am about 10 minutes away from the neverland ranch happens to be another resting place of michael jackson's spirit so they say not long ago there was a live tour going on inside of the neverland ranch and this was captured see when when the doors were opened you know it was okay but when he locked he wanted his privacy he had his privacy this is one of the bathrooms uh, there are Some say the Neverland Ranch is haunted by Michael Jackson's spirit. Every time I come out to California, I always wanna come visit the Neverland Ranch, or at least outside of it. There's a lot more here than his place in Beverly Hills. Only reason I haven't been here yet is because it's about a two to three hour drive from LA. You can see that I am alone, nobody with me, unless there's a couple ghostesses following me around. But when you're looking around, you could see a place like this why it's so appreciated by somebody with that much popularity one of the most popular people in the entire world in my opinion if you're a huge michael jackson fan and you get the chance i would definitely do this drive it was absolutely beautiful the sun's getting ready to go down let's go ahead and make our way to the neverland ranch we are gonna do a paranormal investigation. I'm not sure if anybody's done this before. I have not seen a car out here at all. I mean, this is there's no traffic. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is why Michael Jackson wanted to, to live out this way. Hey, look, Ma, a car. Nothing but cows and horses. Kind of being stocked here. This car just came towards me and then started pulling away like he turned around. It is so uncomfortably quiet out here. I mean, you could hear my car cooling off. I'm thinking they got cameras out here at the Neverland Ranch. I don't know, because they see me pull up, probably wondering where I went, and then I think they just spotted me. We're gonna have to hurry up and fly this drone. Take off. fam not that i give up very easy but it's starting to get darker outside my camera is actually being very generous with the lighting right now that's what you get when you get a nice full frame sony camera as i was bringing my drone down uh first of all when i had it up in the air i, I couldn't get it that far you could see some of those drone clips i mean i didn't know exactly where the neverland ranch was from the gate where i thought it was it wouldn't even make it close i couldn't pull it up on the map either because there is no internet signal as i'm bringing my drone back down i get out the car i thought there was a security guard or, or maybe somebody just creeping up behind me and they breathed in my left ear <gasps> To the point where I was like, I looked back and I could have swore somebody was there, but there was no body there. It scared me half to death. And of course, like I almost forgot about my drone for a couple seconds. I just wanted to get out of here. Oh, what the hell was that? Um, there's the the gate right over there uh, there is a camera right up there the light just turned off too by the way oh here we go oh, you can see right there I mean is this considered vandalism I'm not sure 
I mean, are people allowed to write on the walls here? It's a question that... Whoa. Oops. Oh. oh, wow, look. There's little notes here. Should we read one? Let's read one. You will forever be worth to inspire, to love, to adore. Always carry. There's a couple notes here. This one says, if you enter this world knowing you are loved and you leave this world knowing the... I don't know what that said. Then everything that happens, maybe, in between can be dealt. I don't know. Honestly, this is what I would recommend. If you want to come visit the Neverland Ranch Gate, I would put a note here. This is looks like one that's been here for a while. Let's read that one. Thank you for being my inspiration. Thank you for making my life happier. Thank you for opening my eyes to kindness, caring, love. I don't know what that says there. And compassion. Oh, that was very sweet, Frankie. I hear whistling. Where is that coming from? There's like no houses out here. Maybe it's coming from the Neverland Ranch, but it's so far away. Here's a long one. Uh, I'm not going to read it. You could read it if you want, if you want to pause it. There's some more on the back there. Wow, there's so much here. It's really cool that they haven't pressure washed this away. I keep hearing whistling. Maybe it's the, the security guard. Oh, there's a security guard post. Wait, there's nobody there. When I heard the whistling right now, I don't know about you, but it kind of reminded me, or it took me back to like the Seven Dwarves from Snow White, kind of whistling. Somebody wrote a whole letter on there. I really want to give a huge shout out to whoever owns the Neverland Ranch now. I mean, obviously it was a fan, you know, that, that bought it. I mean, I don't know, I really don't know, but it's really cool that they left this here. For the fans to come and, and enjoy and and mourn, you know what I mean? Because it's been ten years that Michael Jackson's been gone. I mean, we still miss him. We're still hurting. I mean, he he really left a legacy behind, and I I feel bad for him. I feel like he really didn't get to. I mean, in my opinion, I feel like he didn't really get to live his life the way he wanted to be. I mean, he was kind of given fame at a real early age, and and. I don't think he really wanted it. He was kind of robbed of his childhood. I encourage a lot of you, go watch the movie An American Dream. It's an older movie. I think it was made in the 1990s. It's a story of the Jackson family and how they started. I mean, it's, of course, it's Hollywood-based, you know, but it's a true story. And it gives you the, the closest perspective to how he lived his life and how his father was and his family. Well, yeah, he just wanted to be a kid. The whole wall is tagged up. I didn't even know that. Here's another letter with love from Tiana of Maryland. Somebody came all the way from Maryland. Your love will live with us forever, Eden. They also tagged up the tree here. That's pretty neat. Nobody will replace you ever. I agree. entrance here to the Neverland Ranch isn't this cool like Michael Jackson probably touched this keypad at one point I mean I don't know maybe it could be an updated version but I mean he was here he was here he would go through those gates all the time 
Last time I did a spirit box communication with Michael Jackson, it was, it was like so much that he had to say to us. So much from the spirit world. So, I don't know, we're gonna ask. It's gonna be great. I'm a little nervous about this. Um, it's very important when doing spirit box communication that you say a prayer before and after because demonic entities can attach themselves to this and you don't want anything following you back home. So make sure you know what you're doing. All right, Michael, we're here at the Neverland Ranch. Are you happy that fans like me come and visit you? <laughs> Let me know if you can hear. What's that, Michael? What was it that breathed on my left and right ear earlier? It's hard to make out what, what this is. Michael, was that you breathing on me? We. we. I. How many spirits are here with us? You. Michael, are you here with us? Like. Yo, my, my car is moving right now. Who's who's pushing the car? Dude, my entire car was shaking right now. Maybe it was an earthquake? Michael, was that you shaking the car? Gone. Gone? I heard girlfriend, too. Help. Help. Michael, what was your favorite part of Neverland? Um. Was this your favorite place? <laughs> Who's talking to me? Is that Michael? You have a lot of fans that love you. A lot of fans. That, there's a lot, a lot of fans that come visit outside of the Neverland Ranch. Still, I read some of the letters. Will you? It asked me to. It asked me to read a letter. There was one saying that that you inspire them a lot and they love you a lot of them that, that they love you I want to visit Michael Jackson's grave where is he buried I know where he's buried by the way oh, what the heck what is this? Security. Wow. I think they're just trying to make sure we don't hop over the fence. Just to let you know, I am not manipulating any of these sounds. I, I didn't add these sounds to the track. This is 100% happening right now as I'm recording this, okay? I just wanted to throw that out there because I'm sure somebody's thinking that right now that I'm just adding these sounds. It's not. This is a very trusted spirit box app. Come? Are you upset that we're here, Michael? What are you 
you saying? I can't hear you. It's hard to understand you. Are you still alive? Oh my gosh. Your spirit is still alive. Is your spirit? Yeah. So your, your spirit's alive, but you're gone. Sure. All right, whatever is here is very active now. Here comes security. Ken. Yeah. I'm just chilling, bro. Do you like the security guards? Yeah. What do you like about the security guards? Are they protecting your Neverland Ranch? Be quiet. Be quiet. Oh, look behind. I don't want anything following me back home. You are not allowed to follow me back home. No, you're not allowed to follow me back home. Why? Because I don't want you following me back home. I have children. No, you cannot come back with me. You stay here. You stay here. I command you. In the name of Jesus, I command you to stay here. Descent? Gone. Gone? Yes. You need to stay here. All right, I think we're done. I'm going to turn that off. Got silent for a few seconds. So whatever was here with us uh, towards the end, I mean, I, I almost felt like I was just having a full on conversation with it. I'm not 100% sure, but it was trying to say that it wanted to come back home with me and was asking me why I didn't want it to come back home with me. I, I don't need any more entities in my house, honestly. When it comes to spirits like this, they do feed off of fear. Though you may see me looking like I'm fearful, it's it's more of an emotion than, than fear. Um, it's just me reacting. So yeah, I'm, I'm not scared. I'm not scared of any of these entities. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that there was something other than Michael Jackson's spirit trying to attach itself because it started shaking my car. Unless it's Michael Jackson, I don't want anything else following me back home. I, I almost felt like it was in the back seat right now, like right behind me. And I mean, I you not, there was something that was breathing in my ear, especially the first time. I mean, I thought it was somebody there. I looked behind me, there was nobody there. The car started moving. I heard whistling outside. I'm pretty sure I caught that on camera. Very interesting night to say the least. This was fun. I definitely encourage if you're in the Southern California area, anywhere near, I mean, even if you're in Vegas, honestly, it's, I want to say it's a five hour road trip. It could be a little bit longer than that. I would be happy living here, honestly. It's everything you would want in a place to live. I mean, you got the water, you got the mountains. I mean, some, some people want to live in Florida because they love the beaches, but then some people want to leave from Florida because they love mountains. Well, you get the best of both worlds here and some beautiful weather to go along with it. Comes at a pretty steep cost though. And they have earthquakes, just saying. Now there is a slight chance I might end up back this way. Let me know if you want to see that happen here in the comments. If anybody watching this video knows somebody who I can get a hold of to go and view the Neverland Ranch and make a video, that would be a dream come true. It's something that was really, really high on my list when I started thinking of unique haunted videos to make. That would be so cool, honestly, to do a paranormal investigation. I mean, even if it's not a paranormal investigation, like I was saying earlier, just a cool old fashioned tour of the Neverland Ranch. And you know, if I could film it, maybe we'll find something because that clip that I showed you earlier, that was shown live, live. It wasn't messed with or altered. Like that was real. And a lot of people saw that on TV live. So I'm pretty sure if we're in there recording for a long period of time, 
we're gonna see something. I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. Thank you so much for being a part of this adventure with me. If you end up here at the Neverland Ranch, please snap a picture, send it to me on Instagram. You can also send it to me on Twitter, but I will more than likely see it on Instagram if you tag me. If you wanna get to know me a little bit better, I do have a second channel. Link will be up here and also down below in the description. Gotta go for now before you leave. Give me keys. Peace. Yeah, at this time of the day, we don't want people around here. Oh, okay. I'm about taking pictures first. Okay, yeah, I'll be quick. Is that okay? When people are here at night, police comes by and what's going on here. Oh, okay. But that's fine. You take your pictures and... Okay, thank you so much. I'll be fast.